Okay, by now, most of you guys already know about the strike by the longshipmen, I guess is what they're called, that goes from New Jersey all the way down to Texas along our American coastline. And basically, they control the imports and exports, so basically nothing goes out, nothing comes in. And supposedly, there's supposed to be, there's a lot of pressure on the Democrats right now because, of course, Biden's the acting president. And supposedly he's trying to give them an $8 an hour raise, but it's not enough. And they're doing this because they aren't making enough money to meet the demands of inflation, which honestly, I think a lot of people need to be doing this because, and I'm going to get into that later, but it's, a lot of people are panicking. Let's just put it that way. And they're going out right now. People already have been going out to stock up on necessities. And I'm not just talking food and water. I'm talking the other stuff too. Because once that stuff comes off the shelves, it's off the shelves. And some stores in Washington, D.C. have already been doing this due to theft. Like you've got Targets and other stores that are, and CVSs that are taking stuffs off shelves in Washington, D.C. due to high theft. And these corporations are saying that, well, due to theft, we can't, we're losing too much money. We, we, we can't put our stuff on the shelves, so you have to ring a bell and we'll go back in the back. We'll pull your product out for you. And this is things like toilet paper, folks. I mean, it's an inconvenience for the customer because people are stealing. Well, why are they doing it? Yeah, they've been doing it in recent years. And it was even before the illegals started moving up here, getting ushered through the borders. But that's not helping either. But it's because of the living conditions largely. And of course, it's probably due to drugs in some part as well. But our inflation has risen and the corporate payout to people who are working, it's it's not matching. So a lot of people are out there stealing. And now that the long shipment are on strike, this is going to be much worse. It really is. And I, you know, when Y2K hit, I told my mom, I said, you know, I said, it, this isn't going to be anything. And I was right on that one. And I'm not going to say she was wrong. It's never wrong to prepare and be a prepper, but she had a lot of stuff saved up back then. But now she came to me and said, you know what, now's the time really to stock up. And she's right on this one. I actually agree with her. I think this one's going to be serious. And you throw onto the fact that war just started today. Israel tensions right now. Now you've got Russia coming down to Israel saying you need to cease your uh, rocket launches and your firing right now, or there's going to be severe repercussions. Now the United States has talked to Iran and said the same thing to them. They said, if you don't stop, there's going to be severe consequences right now. So war officially is starting today. Is it World War III? I don't know. I've still got some contract obligation left on my contract with the United States Army, so I could be roped into this yet. I don't know. I think I still have about a year left on that, or maybe a year and a half. But there's a lot going on, and I just wanted to cover that with you guys. And then also, let's talk about the hurricane, Hurricane Helene. We're still getting the effects of that low-pressure cell that moved through. Now, what happened was when Hurricane Helene came up through the Florida panhandle and battered that coastline, which that coastline did get hit pretty hard, uh, but then it moved up through Georgia and it went to North Carolina, and now you're seeing flooding in these mountainous towns, and it doesn't seem right. People are like, what's going on? Well... These are towns that it rarely, if ever, floods up there because it's so high. And you're talking Asheville, North Carolina, and Belmont, North Carolina. They're sitting so high that they should never flood, but they've got the problem. Well, what's really going on, and this was due to a TikTok by Joe Anybody, and I'll post that on there, that link, so you guys can watch his TikTok because it's very informative. But he came out, and it's gotten a lot of views, saying that what's going on, and we've known this for years, that HARP, H-A-A-R-P, They've geoengineered these hurricanes. We knew about it. I talked about it years ago, back in 2016, when we had the William Joseph and or William Joseph and Mary hurricanes. It wasn't the names of the hurricanes, but that's what they really stood for in covert. I don't want to confuse you guys on it. It's been a long time ago. I just want you to know that HARP has been geoengineering hurricanes for a long time. Well, this Hurricane Helene really was no exception. And when you see that these mountainous towns are flooded. It's like this Joe anybody off TikTok said, he's right. It's because you're sitting on quartz and lithium deposits. And the, the residents there didn't want the mining done. 
they were pitching a big stink about it. Well, the company called Piedmont Company that's already made an agreement with Tesla behind the residents' backs. So since they don't want it, so what they're doing is they geoengineered that hurricane, and what happened is it steered up there and collided with an already sitting low-pressure cell. And those clouds, I watched it on radar, They, those clouds that were in the low-pressure cell joined up with the hurricane and the rotation happened, and it went like this all the way over West Virginia, all the way over Indiana and Ohio and Kentucky. Kentucky's got, and Tennessee's gotten a lot of rain too. But with the, why did it just specifically flood right there? It's because of the quartz and lithium deposits. This guy is right. He hit the nail on the head. He really did. And now, since those guys aren't prepared for it, those people living up in the mountainous towns, they don't have flood insurance. So what happens is they're going to have to relocate. And these companies are in cahoots with whoever's controlling HARP to steer these hurricanes and they're going to get those people to displace and they're going to be able to mine for the lithium and the artificial and or i mean the quartz deposits which are tied into the artificial intelligence it's not just batteries for cars we're talking quartz that's powering artificial intelligence now i'm fixing on another video right now that has to do with alien abductions where an alien from the roswell crash actually came out and said ai is going to be our downfall now, I know that's a little far-fetched for a lot of you guys to believe, and that's fine. You don't have to, but that video is coming out hopefully this week. It is going to be a good one, so stay tuned for that. But in regards to the long, long shipment, I guess is what they're called, the people who are controlling the imports and the exports, it is, like I said, this is nothing to sneeze about. And now you've got war starting up officially where uh, three captains were killed of the Iranian Hezbollah from an Israeli strike. So we're underway, folks. Whether it's World War III or not, I can't officially say that for sure, but this is all Bible prophecy because for the Antichrist to come in, you've got to have Israel rise to power for a little bit. That's what's going to happen. So we're gonna we're getting ready for our seven years of tribulation. You see all the crap that's going on in the world right now. It all comes down to this presidential election. Please pray for Donald Trump to get this presidential election. He is getting threats right now. There are seven Iranian threats right now trying to target him on airlines, on his airplanes and stuff, his private jets. So let's hope that he doesn't get hit out of the sky just like JFK Jr. did. I mean, guys, this isn't going to stop. They're never going to stop until they get what they want. You can see it, but the problem is nobody's stopping this. You know, I talk to people who say, yeah, the White Hats are really in control. You know, they're just kind of slowly phasing things out, and they don't want the people to know. I don't really think the White Hats are in control. We wouldn't be going through this. If you listen to what the Bible tells us in Bible prophecy, this stuff is foretold. It is, and it's it's happening real time. This is pretty much the beginning of our—it's our, our pre-trib time. It's the beginning of the seven years of tribulation. You know, Jesus is coming, and they've even lied to us about the name of Jesus. It's That was like a— Oh, I think it was a Roman god, had the name of Esus, E-S-U-S, and the J didn't even exist back then, so they put the J on it, and he looked like the portrayal of Jesus, and the real name is either Yahusha or Yahuwah, like it begins with Y-A-H, and then like the name of Yahweh, the God, is Yahweh, and that says that in the Bible too, if you, if you read, it really does. And our DNA, I talked to a Bible expert who's very young, but he's read the Bible front and back many times in his life, and he's going to Bible school in North Carolina. And he told me last year when I was working uh, with him that our DNA is actually encrypted with YHWH from our creator, short for Yahweh. So I thought that was really interesting. I thought I'd share it with you guys. I know there's a lot of information in this video I threw at you, but there's a lot going on. So just know that hurricanes are being geoengineered. They have been for, I would say, probably a decade at least. But especially 2016 and 17, when I the Joseph, William, and Mary hurricanes, those three hurricanes, they started with those letters, J, W, and M. Or I'm sorry, yeah, J, W, and M. And that's really what they stood for. It was kind of a slap on the face of Christians, to be honest, by the Satanists that are ruling the world. And you can see it right now. You can see it with our Olympics opening ceremony by the Ashkenazi Jews that I've talked about, by um, the Rothschilds, Anna de Rothschild, and there was another 
male Rothschild, they were the organizers of the Olympic Games that are satanic in nature. So we're being hit hard. It's not going to stop. The presidential election is really the head of it, but it's like people are saying, it's, it's not just when this next person gets elected, whether it be Donald or Kamala, it's the sitting time in between of, of November 5th and January 21st, whenever that next president can take the reins. So that's when we're going to be in a lot of turmoil. An FBI agent, one of the good ones, there aren't very many good FBI agents these days, but one of the good whistleblowers in the FBI said, right now, he said, prepare, at least get a month's worth of food and water and supplies. And it'd be best if you can get about four months. But he said, definitely at least try to get one month. And you got to do it right now because these shelves are going to get bare. I mean, this isn't anything to mess around with. You've got to start doing it now. A lot of people are panicking, and I think this time there's good reason for it. So I'll leave you guys with that. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching this video. And as always, until next time, Godspeed.